Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2Buff before here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the 9P117. The 9P117 is built upon the Maz 543-7310 Maz Uragon vehicle chassis. Uh, this uh, vehicle, the Uragon, is a soviet slash belarusian 8x8 artillery truck designed and developed by Maz in what is now Belarus. Uh, it was designed in the 1960s. The Maz uh, 543 was presented on November 7th, 1965 during the Moscow Red Square Military Parade as part of the SS-1C Scud B uh, system, also known as the 9K-72 Elbrus. The uh, 9P-117 is obviously a mobile Scud launching system, so what this basically means is that this truck can be drive into whatever position, whatever environment it pleases, and be able to rapidly deploy and fire a Scud missile. Now, Scud missiles aren't intercontinental missiles. They're uh, kind of, more, they're definitely more short range than that. Um, however, they do have a pretty good range to them too. Obviously, it depends on the Scud. As this is a 1960 Scud, it's a little bit earlier um, during the Cold War, so a little bit more rudimentary, uh, but still um, can definitely pack a punch. Uh, so pretty cool stuff here. Uh, we don't I don't think we've ever, actually we've never done a vehicle of this kind of sort in Russia and the Soviet Union They really have some really awesome big uh, Trucks that just have these big, you know rocket launching systems on it uh, So really cool stuff overall. I was really uh, excited to build this and it overall was a really fun build to do as you can see We both we have two different versions. So we have the version with the missile upward um, and we also have a version with the missile kind of laying on its side, um, in kind of like the transport mode. So you'll have two different versions to choose between on what you want to build. And uh, that will allow you guys to uh, obviously have a couple of different versions of this and, you know, for different scenarios or whatever you guys want to do. Um, anyways, uh, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Uh, where you can pledge a small mouth every month and earn a vehicle request of your choice. So feel free to check out that page. Uh, all the you know donations go obviously straight to me, and it's much appreciated, and it helps me out big time with the channel. You know, YouTube's very shaky ad revenue and stuff like that, and you know, it just helps you know give me a little uh, perk of putting all these work in the tutorials and stuff. And plus, you get a vehicle of your choice. So win-win uh, for both of us and all that stuff. So feel free to check it out if you guys are interested. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into taking a look at uh, this uh, 9P117 and kind of get an idea of what we'll be building exactly in this tutorial. Uh, to kind of structure the tutorial, we'll probably be doing it the vehicle itself. So the Maz 543, um, pretty much to begin with, and then we're going to add on the uh, Scud, Scud launching system uh, onto it in the two different formats. So whatever you want to do, you can choose between the two and go be able to go crazy and all that stuff with it. Anyways, let's go and dive into taking a look at the vehicle itself so you can get an idea of what we're building here. Um, so obviously we have the front cab up here, the front of the truck. Um, and you'll notice this is a huge truck. We have big 3x3 three three wheels. I mean, these are the huge Russian trucks that are just absolutely ridiculous in size uh, and all that stuff as they need to be to you know, be able to harness these kind of weaponry. Uh, but anyways, we have the driver's compartment located over here on... Um, I think it's actually this side because I think Russia they drive on the right they have the driving on the right side but we have obviously the driver's compartment um, also crew compartments and just stuff like that for the crew up here to you know basically ride along handle that fun stuff uh, as we continue to work our way back we have just various hatches and stuff like that that can be opened up um, all that kind of stuff right here we have a door uh, so I don't know maybe they have missile launching system command or something like that inside the vehicle itself uh, I really don't know it just you know there's no real pictures to kind of say what's inside there you just kind of have to assume um, but I imagine it's probably maybe some kind of launch control or maybe uh, you know some kind of uh, I guess coordinate coordinate or I don't, I don't know some kind of missile control room who knows uh, could be in there for all I know anyways we have this section here where the missile actually folds down and lays on top of uh, as we go back we got just some various different uh, again kind of you know different boxes or you know little compartments that can be opened up and stuff like that 
Uh, we have some rear stabilizers on the back here that could be deployed down, which technically with the rocket upward like this, they should actually be downward, which is something I'm going to have to fix here. Uh, but anyways, we have the rocket itself, the scud, um, on the kind of system facing upwards and ready for launch. Um, so that's pretty cool right there. Um, over here we have the kind of transit mode. So this is the uh, version of the vehicle that basically has the scud uh, laid down and can be transported around. So as you can see, we got a whole different design on the back here, obviously, with the platform. Try to keep it as same as possible as the kind of standing up version, um, just for accuracy and all that stuff. It's, uh, you know, pretty close to it. Um, and then, you know, just the missile itself, it's, you know, again, looks a lot like that one. Try to keep them as close as possible, you know, despite having to rotate something that named green one sides, which kind of changes stuff up a little bit, but um, I definitely think it came out pretty good um, overall. Anyways, uh, that's going to pretty much wrap up our overview for the 9P117. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer 1. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and move it into our first layer. We're going to be obviously start off with layer 1 here. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started, the best thing for us to do is to go ahead and place down a block of coal like this for the start of our left front wheel. We then want to place down an air brake upside down stair on both sides of this block of coal. Coming off this block of coal, we're going to place down one more block of coal over, followed by again another brake upside down stair on both sides. Er, yeah, both sides. We then want to place down a stone bun on both ends of those two blocks of coal. With that done there, we're going to skip a space of three. So one, two, three. And we're going to go ahead and place down another wheel over here. And this is going to be our left or right front wheel, sorry. And we're just going to go ahead and replicate the same thing just like this to this side. So as you can see, you have two of these wheels here set up ready to go with a space of three in between them. Uh, from this point here, we're going to go back a space of two and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to place down a uh, another brick, uh, or sorry, a block of coal, another brick upside down, stay on both sides, and take it one more out to the side. And again, stone buttons here on both sides. So just like that on both, on uh, for this wheel here. For our next wheel over, we're going to go and place down a row of two of black wool again, or sorry, block of coal across, uh, two another brick upside down stairs, stone buttons on both ends like that. And you have basically your four uh, front wheels or your two front axles set up and ready to go. With that done there, we're going to need to skip a space of one, two, three, four, five blocks back and we're going to place down a uh, another wheel back here. So this is going to be our fifth wheel. We're going to place down a stone button again on both sides. We're going to go over to the side three blocks and then place down a another wheel over here on this side. So by this right here, we have our uh, third axle or third set of wheels set up and ready to go. With that done, we're going to skip a space of two again, so one, two, and we're going to build a, another stair right here, or another uh, kind of one-third of a wheel right here on this side, and stone buttons on both sides again. We're going to skip a space of three over to the side here, and do the same thing, two blocks of coal across, two narrow break ups down stairs, same thing over here, stone buttons here on both ends of those blocks of coal. With that all done, that will pretty much wrap up uh, layer one. Actually, one last thing uh, for the back here. If you are deciding to go ahead and put the, uh, you know, kind of the, the towed version here uh, for the, or just the transport version, we're going to go ahead and go to these inner air brick stairs. We're going to go ahead and go one space back and place down an air brick top slab like this on both sides here for the kind of leg jacks here. And if you are building this thing with the missile standing upright, we can just go ahead and kind of do a nether brick block here in the ground and place down a cobblestone wall on top of it. So whatever you're choosing to do, if you want to have this thing with the rockets facing upwards, so uh, like this over here, you can kind of see more of an example. Uh, we're going to place down this kind of support leg here all the way down the ground like this. Uh, but if you're going to have this thing just, you know, towed, whatever, then we're going to go ahead and have a cobblestone wall here. Since we're going to be doing the uh, erected one right here, we're going to make sure that we place down a cobblestone wall, narrow brick walk underneath it and everything like that. But if you are just doing the towed version or the, yeah, the uh, trans transit version one, you can just place down an air brick top slab in that space instead. Um, anyways, when that's all done there, that is uh, almost gonna wrap up this layer. We do have one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go in between these uh, an air brick stairs here. And we're gonna place down a row three of iron trap doors. And make sure that this is toward the outside here. And this is between the kind of the second and third uh, axles back so you can see here we just have two rows of three of wooden trap doors on the outside they're not on this inside road they're going to be equal with the tires on the outside anyways with that all complete that is going to wrap up layer number one 
And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go to each tire and go ahead and build it up. Now for each uh, tire here, we're going to place down two blocks of coal on these two narrow brick ups downstairs. We're going to place down a green terracotta block on the inside here, mossy cobblestone wall. Um, or sorry, it's just a regular cobblestone wall, though it should be mossy cobblestone. We're going to go and switch that to mossy cobblestone. There we go. And then we're going to place down an item frame and then a green terracotta block in that item frame. We're going to go and take stone buttons and place down two stone buttons on the box of coal here. Now notice that the item frame and stone buttons are toward the outside of the tire, so toward the side of the vehicle and not toward the inside here. Uh, this is only going to work for the outside. We cannot do the same thing on the inside. So for each one of these wheels, we're going to go ahead and just do the same thing. So we'll go ahead and kind of cover the left or the right front wheel here. Just kind of show you it's a kind of a reverse of what we did over there. And just like that. So you're going to go ahead and do this for each one of these wheels. And I'll go ahead and see you in a sec when we have all these wheels filled in. All right. So as you can see, we have all these wheels go, uh, basically completed here. So we have the, you know, kind of middle section of the wheels all complete, set up, ready to go. And uh, just over here, take a look at it as well. So make sure that that's all done for the wheels. Once we have that all complete, we can go ahead and start working on the build itself and start building off to wherever uh, we need to. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and go in between these blocks of coal here. We're gonna place down a row of three of, of uh, black wool across. We then wanna place down a second row of three of black wool across going toward the front, a, th a third row like this. And then we're gonna place down two rows of three of narrow brick top slabs coming off this row toward the front there. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're gonna go ahead and go to the very front here, uh, come off this narrow brick, top slab, and we're gonna place down a iron trap door like that. So you should get something that looks like this here for the front so far. We then wanna go ahead and grab ourselves some iron uh, trap doors. We're gonna go ahead and go to this block of coal here, place down one, two, and three. Iron trap doors coming off this block of coal toward the front, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. So one, two, and three, going forward just like that. When that's all finished there, we wanna go ahead and go ahead and go in between the wheels here. We're gonna go ahead and take our black wool, place down a row of three across. We're gonna place down another row of three across like this in between. We then wanna place down two more rows of three of black wool across this middle space right here in between the wheels. And once we have that done here, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a nether brick, or sorry, a wither skeleton skull, an end rod, and also a dark oak wood fence gate. Now for this section here on the side, we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull, end rod going toward the front here, and then coming off the wither skeleton skull, we're gonna place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward the skeleton skull like that. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing over here as well. So just like this as well, like that. When that's all done there, we're gonna go ahead and take our black wool, place down a row of, of uh, three across right here, second row of three, a third row of three as well. Uh, we then want to go to place down five more rows of three across this empty middle space here. So just like this, going all the way toward the back here. Now when that's done there, going out to the sides now, we're going to want to go and build this out to the sides. So to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go and start off by placing down a green uh, stain clay block right here. That's going to be coming off the second row of three of black wool in this kind of uh, basically five, th three by five kind of rectangle that goes over this middle space. We then want to place down a shulker box out to the side like so. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and also need to go ahead and go into our menu and grab ourselves an anvil. We're going to place down an anvil that is going to go on top of the uh, wooden trap door here. So an anvil like this and then a green terracotta block right behind it. Now coming off the side of the anvil itself, we're going to go ahead and want to grab ourselves a sign, place down a wooden sign like that on the side of the anvil. With that all complete there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, spruce wood stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood upside down stair coming off this anvil. And then a green terracotta block like that coming back from it. We also want to grab ourselves a wooden trap door. Place down a wooden trap door coming off this front of the spruce wood stair. Flick it downwards like that. When that's done there, we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. So take our green terracotta, go across like this. Our shulker box, our anvil with the sign on the side of it. And a spruce wood upside down stair like so with the wooden trap door coming off the front of the stair uh, and opened up like that. Uh, once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on. So in the space in between these wheels here, we're going to take our black wool, place down in there three rows like this in between the third axle like that. As we go ahead and continue to go back, we're going to place down another two rows of three here of black wool across this space right here. And just like we did up here, but basically reversing it, we're going to go ahead and basically do the little detail in between it. 
So for this, we're going to place down the uh, Wither Skeleton Skull and Rod, and then coming off the Wither Skeleton Skull of the side, we're going to place down a Dark Oak Defense Gate. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. So a uh, Wither Skeleton Skull and Rod, and then a Dark Oak Defense Gate coming off the Wither Skeleton Skull. With that all out of the way, we're going to take our Black Wool, place down a narrow row of three, or narrow three rows of three of Black Wool going across in between the wheels here uh, for the axles. And actually, my bad, this last row right here, we're actually going to swap out for a cobblestone wall here on both sides of that black wool block. And then we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves a nether brick top slab, and we're going to place down a nether brick top slab that's coming off this black wool block here. When that's all finished like that, we're going to go grab ourselves some wooden trap doors, and we want to go ahead and basically place down wooden trap doors that are going to be coming off blocks that are right here. So we're going to place down two place our blocks, wooden trap doors, and then we're going to go ahead and open up the wooden trap doors. So it looks something like that. And we want to do the same thing over here as well. So just like this. And at this point right here, um, depending on what version of the vehicle you're building. So if you're building the mobile version, you should have an airbrick top set here. We're just going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of it. Uh, if you are building the uh, kind of deployed version with the, uh, you know, giant, uh, you know, missile. Uh, facing upwards we're gonna go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall just on top of that one and then lastly here we're just gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a black banner place down a black banner on these two wooden trap doors as i mentioned we're going to focus solely on the truck so adding this whole missile system on the back here will be something we'll be doing uh once we get the truck itself built up anyways that right there is going to do it for layer number two let's move on to layer number three all right guys going ahead and moving on to our next layer we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number three for layer three to go ahead and get started here we're we'll going to be going ahead and going to our wheels and doing the same thing that we've been doing. So for these, we're just going to take our narrow brick stairs, place down two narrow brick stairs on these blocks of coal. And basically in between them, uh, we're going to place down blocks of coal in between them. So basically doing the same thing here for each one of these wheels here. And like before, I'm going to go ahead and do these all real quick. And I'll see you once I get these all done. All right, guys. So as you can see, I went ahead and added all the wheels on. Again, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but you want to add a stone button onto the and here are these blocks of coal and make sure that they are only on the outside of the wheels as the inside here will be covered up with blocks as we get into this layer. Um, so no point in filling that space in if it's just going to get covered up. So going ahead and moving into this uh, layer to go ahead and begin with we're going to place down an anvil on top of this iron trap door up in the front here. We then want to take our blocks of coal place down a or sorry not my bad not a block of coal. Uh, we're actually going to want to grab ourselves some black wool and place down a black wool block on both sides of this anvil. When that's done there, we're going to place down a tripwire hook coming off these two uh, black wool blocks and also a wither skeleton skull coming off that anvil. When that's done there, we want to go and place down another black wool block here to both sides. Stone button coming off that black wool block and then we're going to follow it up by placing down a nair brick upside down stair to both sides like that. When that's done there, we're going to place down a item frame on this uh, side of the stair here with an orange stained glass block in it same thing over here as well and we also want to place down a sign on the side of this block and also uh, on the side out to the side here so over the item frame and also on the side of the stair like that so we have our hazard lights and these little signs here on the sides with that all finished off there we're going to take our black wool place down a row of three across the middle here followed by a nether brick upside down stair to both sides when that's done there, we're going to place down another two rows of three of black wool going back. And coming off these uh, rows here, um, actually my bad. Uh, so where this narrow brick, stair here, narrow brick stair here is on both sides, we're actually going to place down a black wool block on both ends. And then we're just going to place down a dark oak wood uh, top slab here to both sides. When that's done there, we're going to place down a sign on both sides of this dark oak wood top slab. Like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, narrow brick stair. We're going to place down a narrow brick upside down stair like this. Come off both sides of this black wool block. Going back from this row three of black wool, we're going to place down a narrow row three back. And they're going to place down two cobblestone walls like this on the sides here. Going back from these narrow brick stairs like that. After that's done, in the middle space in between here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green stained clay. And we're going to place down two rows of three here of green stained clay like this across in between our first set of wheels up here in the front. All right guys, once that's all done there, we're going to continue on by going ahead and grab ourselves green terracotta blocks. I'm placing down two rows of five here in between the wheels right here across like that. We then want to place down two green shulker boxes coming off both ends 
of these two rows of five of green stained clay. Um, once that's all finished there, we're going to grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls. And we're going to want to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall right here next to these two narrow brick stairs. We're also going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls up in front here next to these two narrow brick stairs as well. Once uh, that's finished off there, we're going to take our black wool, place down a row of three across right here. When that's done there, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a row of one and two. Uh, upside down dark oak wood stairs along the side here and go over to this side we're going to do the same thing one and two upside down dark oak wood stairs with that all done there we're going to, go and place down a green shulker box on top of this one right here we then want to take our green terracotta place down one two three four and five blocks over to the side and another green shulker box over here on this side when that's done right there we're going to take our spruce wood planks place down one and two spruce wood planks back from the shulker box same thing over here and again like we did before uh, a row of five of green stained clay in between these two spruce wood planks like that across the middle there we then want to grab ourselves a stone button place down a stone button on the first spruce wood plank and then a trip wire hook on the second same thing over here on this side as well with that done there we're going to take our black wool place down a row of three of black wool across the middle here we then want to take our dark oak wood stairs and we're going to place down two dark oak wood upside down stairs like this to both sides. When uh, that's all finished off there, that's going to do it there for your midsection. As we continue on toward the back here, we're going to take our black wool. We're going to place down basically three rows of three of black wool in between the wheels. Come to this section here, we're going to place down a uh, basically two more rows of three of black wool across. We're going to grab ourselves dark oak wood upside down stairs. Place down two dark oak wood upside down stairs. Come out those black wool blocks to the side here. And they're going to be upside down just like that. And same thing over here as well. So like this in between our wheels. Just like that. When that's all done there, in between these wheels back here, we're going to take our black wool blocks. Place down a total of three rows of three. Filling in the space in between those narrow brick stairs there. And then the very back section here, we just want to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves black wool. Place down a row of three of black wool across. So we're going to place down a row of three across of black wool here. When that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves our wooden trap doors. And we're going to go ahead and place down wooden trap doors on top of these ones right here. And have these flicked upwards or opened up like so. Like that. So on both sides there. We then want to place down a dark oak wood up down stair. Come off these two black wool blocks. And in the space in between these dark oak wood up down stairs, we're going to place down a... Uh, was going to be a dark oak wood slab. So I'm trying to think of where I can grab one. There we go We're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab like so um, So if that all done on the back there, we're also going to go and grab ourselves a shulker box Place down a shulker box. That's going to be kind of coming down like this going down and connecting to that cobblestone wall and Same thing over here like so um and actually, my bad, it's going to be one more out to the side. So these are just going to go ahead and go out to the side. One more. Down like this. Same thing over here. One more out to the side. Down like that. So you get something that looks like this for the back here. We then just want to grab ourselves an anvil. Place down an anvil on top of those cobblestone walls. And like that on both sides in between the shoulder boxes. And once you have that all complete, that's going to do it there for the back. And that will go ahead and keep complete uh, layer number three. Actually, one last thing before we go and move on to the next layer. We do want to go ahead and throw on some end rods. So at three end rods on these three iron trap doors here on both sides. Now, once that's all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number three. As you can see, we start to get a good amount of the vehicle built with the wheels complete and um, a good part of the chassis all done. So that let's go and move on to our next layer, layer number four. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three, or sorry, we have layer number four. So for layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three across the top there like that. Uh, for the front here, we're going to place down ladders coming off those three green stink clay blocks. Once that's done here, we're going to place down a red stone repeater on top of this black wool block here, and have the notches flicked out to the sides like this, on both sides like so. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and take our green uh, terracotta, we're going to place down a row of seven of green terracotta all the way across like that when that's done we're going to go ahead and place down a stone button followed by an item frame and in this item frame we're going to place down a glass pane like this on the side or on the very end block like this facing toward the front here same thing like that on both sides uh, once that's done there we're going to go ahead and place down a orange stained glass block on the side of this green stained clay block and same thing over here as well just like this for again the little hazard lights 
Once that's all finished there, we're going to take our spruce wood stairs. We're going to place down a spruce wood upside down stair like this on both sides. And on the side of the spruce wood stair, we're going to place down a wooden sign like that. And over here on this side, we're going to go and do the same thing like so. Once that's done, in between these spruce wood stairs, we're going to go and take our black wool and place down a row of five of black wool across like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a green terracotta block on both sides and a row of black wool across in between. We then want to go ahead and continue on by placing down another spruce wood upside down stair here on both sides, followed by another row of five of black wool across the middle here. We're going to place down a spruce wood sign here on the sides of the, or sorry, just regular wood sign on the side of these spruce wood stairs like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood, um, dark oak wood stair here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair coming off this uh, spruce wood upside down stair. And when that's all done there, in the space in the middle here, uh, we are going to go ahead and pretty much leave this mostly open. Um, however, we do have a little bit we're going to throw on here. So this is going to be grabbing a mossy cobblestone wall. And we also uh, want to get some sandstone slabs here. So it does have like this little bit of uh, kind of detailing and stuff like that that happens in the middle here. So very simply, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall here in the middle. Followed by one and two sandstone top slabs back like this. Once that's done there, we're going to go and take signs and place them down on the sides of these sandstone top slabs like that. And we also want to place down uh, mossy cobblestone walls here, right, or actually my bad, not right there, we're going to leave that open. Anyways, when that's done there, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab back like this on both sides from this, uh, from that dark oak wood up down stair, same thing right here, like that on both sides going back. Also alongside the dark oak wood stair and these slabs here on the inside, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs going across here. Same thing there on both sides and then across here like this to connect up that mossy cobblestone wall. With that all done there, we're going to take our green uh, terracotta, place down two rows of five, going across the middle here. And on both ends, on top of those green uh, shulker boxes, we're going to place down two spruce wood, or sorry, my bad, dark oak wood stairs like that on top of those shulker boxes like that. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of these two from the previous layer. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab in between them, followed by a dark oak wood, or two dark oak wood top slabs out to the side. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a row of five of dark oak wood top slabs across. We then want to place down a narrow mossy cobblestone wall on top of these ones right here, followed by a dark oak wood top slab in the middle, and then two out to the side, like that on both sides. When that's all finished there, we're going to take our Mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one and two on the sides here, one and two, and then a row three of green uh, terracotta blocks across the middle there, like that. Once that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta blocks, place down a row of seven all the way across. When that's done there, we're going to go and grab our spruce wood plank, place down a spruce wood plank on both ends, and this spruce wood plank is going to have a stone button on it, like this. Uh, in the space in between these spruce wood planks, we're just going to place down a row of green uh, terracotta, just to go and fill that space in. When that's done there, we're going to go and place down a uh, light gray stained glass full block coming off this spruce wood plank, a black wool block behind the light gray stained glass full block, and then a row of three of green terracotta and cross in between it. Uh, we then want to go and take our green terracotta and uh, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across like that all the way like so. Uh, when that's done there, we want to go ahead and continue on by taking our green uh, uh, dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood up sound stair here on both sides. And uh, we're actually going to go ahead and place down a second stair like this, like that. And in between these stairs, we're going to place down a row of two of black, or a row of three of black wool. We then want to place down two rows of two of dark oak wood top slabs coming off those dark oak wood stairs. And then we want to place down uh, basically two rows of three of black wool. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of seven all the way across. We then want to place down a second row of seven after that. When that's done uh, right there, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to place down one and two to the sides here. A green terracotta block, dark oak wood slab, green terracotta block, and then two dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern one more time. So two dark oak wood top slabs, green terracotta block, dark oak wood slab, two green terracotta blocks, and two dark oak wood top slabs like that to the sides. Um, again, going ahead and doing the same thing. Dark oak wood slab here in the middle, green terracotta blocks on both sides, and then this can be a little bit different. We're going to place down a dark oak wood up down stair here on both sides like so. Now with that all done there, uh, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. A green terracotta block starting from the outside going in. 
dark oak wood slab in the middle here and then three terracotta blocks out to the side now on the side here these terracotta blocks we're going to place down a uh, stone button just like that when that's all finished off there we're going to take our uh green uh, uh sting or green stinkway blocks here and we want to go ahead and place down a green stinkway block here on the middle uh we then want to go ahead and place down uh what is going to be basically a row of one two three four five six or more across so a row of seven all the way across and on the corner uh green stinkway blocks here we're going to go ahead and place down some signs uh on the sides here like so and once that's all done there, uh, that is going to pretty much wrap up everything we need to do for layer number four for the build. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer number five, to go and begin with, we're going to go to the front uh, grill up here. We're going to place down two green, or sorry, three green stinkweed blocks across that row three from the previous layer, followed by ladders on the front of them like so. Once that's done, behind these green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a row three of green stinkweed blocks like this fall by a dark oak wood stair like that and one stair come off of it so you have a corner stair and regular stair and this is going to be on both sides here just like that uh, once that's done coming off the uh, dark oak wood stair to the side we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull like that when that's all finished there we're going to place down a spruce wood plank here on both sides and then we just want to take our green terracotta place down a row uh, across like this if you do want to have a little bit of interior space you could delete this green stain clay block here just have a row three green stain clay down the middle wherever you want to do there anyways going to continue on we're going to place down a green terracotta block back from the spruce wood plank on both sides here and then again a row three a green terracotta across the middle here and there's spruce wood plank on both sides here and again a row of, of uh, three of ter green terracotta across the middle there uh, we want to go ahead and grab tripwire hooks and on the sides of these spruce wood planks we're going to place down tripwire hooks like this on both sides like so when that's done there we're going to take our, our uh, mossy cobblestone walls here we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides and in between these mossy cobblestone walls we're going to place down a row of five of green terracotta blocks across like that uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a black wool block we're going to place down one and two black wool blocks like this back from this mossy cobblestone wall and we're going to place down ladders on the sides of these black wool blocks like this for a little bit of venting uh, so once that's done there uh, we do have a little bit of stuff going on on the inside here which we'll kind of uh, get to in a sec here so for our first uh, action here we're going to take green uh, terracotta place down a row of five across in between we then want to go ahead and go to this uh, sandstone slab here we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of it we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides of this dark oak wood slab. And then a green terracotta block between the mossy cobblestone wall and the black wool block. As we go ahead and continue back, we're going to place down one and two green terracotta blocks on the sides here, followed by a row of three of mossy cobblestone walls across in between them. Uh, once that's done, we're going to have basically a, uh, another row of five of green terracotta going all the way across here. Or sorry, I meant a row of seven going all the way across. And on the sides here of these green stain clay blocks, we're going to be placing down stone buttons. So after this uh, row of seven here, we're going to place down a second row of seven across, followed by again a stone button on both ends. We then want to place down a third row of seven all the way across, followed by again a stone button on both ends here. And we're going to place down a uh, fourth row again all the way across here. And then again, stone buttons on both ends of the row. Once that's done, on top of these mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down two on top of them, like this, both sides, row two or row three of green terracotta across the middle. Uh, for this section here, we're placed down a narrow row of seven, green terracotta all the way across here. We then want to go ahead and place down a anvil on top of this spruce wood plank. Same thing over here on this side. Coming off the side of the anvil, we're going to place down a wooden sign. And same thing over here as well. Across in between the anvils, we're just going to place down a row of five of green terracotta. Once that's done there, we're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top of this glass block like this. This back of the spruce wood stair is going to face the anvil. In the middle here, we're going to place down two green stain clay blocks going toward the middle. In the very middle spot, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta blocks starting from the side here, working its way to the middle. In the very middle, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, and then there are three blocks out to the side. We then want to do the same thing again, just like that. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs here on the sides, 
a green terracotta block here in the middle, or on both sides here in the middle, and then a dark oak slab again there in the middle. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to place down a uh, shulker box on top of this green stink clay block, and then on both sides of the shulker box coming off of it, we're going to place down uh, two green shulker boxes like that to the sides there. And actually for this shulker box here, we can go ahead and flip it so it has the top of the shulker box facing to the sides there, like that. Anyways, once that's uh, finished off there, in the middle space to fill that in, we're going to go and take a uh, green stink block, we're going to place down one and two back from these shulker boxes here on both sides, dark liquid slab in the middle there. Uh, for this section, it's going to be a little bit different, dark green uh, terracotta block like this on both sides, and then a dark liquid stair like this on both ends. Uh, we then want to go ahead and continue on by placing down a green, a green terracotta block on both sides, and again a dark liquid slab coming off those two dark liquid stairs. We then want to take dark liquid slabs and place down one and two on the sides here. So one and two like this, and one and two like that on the sides. Uh, also, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars, and starting from this dark liquid slab, going across the shulker boxes all the way up to this dark liquid slab here, we can go ahead and take iron bars and place down a row of five across the side there like that. Once uh, that's finished off there, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, green terracotta block here on top of this dark liquid slab here to both sides and then we're going to go and place down a dark liquid stair like this come off the dark liquid slab. When that's done there we're going to place down a row of two of green terracotta going back from this dark liquid stair on both sides here. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark liquid uh, stairs here. We're going to place down two dark liquid stairs come off that green terracotta block there. We want to go and then grab ourselves a item frame and we're going to be placing down a row of one and two of item frames along these two dark liquid stairs with green uh, terracotta blocks in them as well. So the same thing over here as well. Uh, once that's finished off there, we're going to, go to place down a uh, shulker box, green shulker box on top of this green stain clay block here on both sides. We then want to place down a uh, cobblestone wall here right next to those uh, shulker boxes. And from that point right there, We'll go ahead and kind of leave it off right there. Uh, again, kind of depending on what version you're going to be building, we're going to be doing different stuff in that place. So we're going to leave it as is right there, and we'll be going ahead and getting back to that um, section and building this section up more uh, once we get to the missile in its different formats. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer number five. Let's move on to layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next uh, set of layers, we have layer six. So for layer six, we're gonna go ahead and take our stone buttons, place down a row of one, two, and three across the front here. We then wanna take our wooden trap doors, place down a row of three wooden trap doors across after that. After that's all complete there, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of two of light gray stained glass full blocks over to the uh, left side like this. And then over here to the right side, it's a little bit different. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some light gray stained glass panes and place down one and two like gray stained glass panes to the side there. When that's done, we're gonna place down a black stained glass pane, come off the those uh, light gray stained glass blocks to the side there, and also come off these light gray stained glass panes. Come off the uh, black stained glass pane itself, we're gonna go and place down a wooden sign like that for little uh, side mirrors. When that's done there, we're gonna go and take our uh, light gray stained glass full blocks, we're going to place down a row of two going back from those full blocks over here and going back from the panes over here on this side. When that's done, we're going to take our green um, hardened stained clay, we're going to place down a green, or sorry, uh, just a green terracotta, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on the insides here, or sorry, my bad, on the outsides, like this, and then a light uh, gray stained glass block here on the insides. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden trap doors and place down two rows of three going back from this pre this row of three so we have basically three rows of three going back like that once uh that's finished off there on top of this spruce wood plank here and place down a light gray stained glass full block on both sides we then want to place down a dark oak wood stair facing this direction here in the middle space and also uh coming off this dark oak wood stair here to the sides we're gonna go ahead and be placing down a zombie head here kind of at a slight angle on both sides like that with a wooden trap door in between them. Going ahead and continuing to work our way back, we're gonna place down a bossy cobblestone wall on top of this one right here, right next to these light gray stained glass blocks. Uh, in the space, or kind of coming off of it like this, we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair like this. Same thing over here, so this stair turns into a corner stair. And then we just wanna place down a dark oak wood slab 
that's going to come off of this dark oak stair on both sides here and then just place down a wooden trap door there in the middle. Uh, we're then going to place down there green stinkway block, again both sides here. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair on both ends and then a row three of dark oak wood slabs across like that. Uh, with that all finished there, we're going to place down a trip bar hook on this green stinkway block on both ends like that. Once that's done, and there are green stinkway block here to both sides. And we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, green shulker box like this on the inside. Now, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door and place down a wooden trap door on these two mossy cobblestone walls. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down there green uh, stinkway or a green terracotta block followed by a shulker box. Same thing over here on this side as well. And on the very outside here of this green uh, terracotta block, we're going to place down a trip bar hook. Uh, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again. So a green terracotta block, shulker box, green terracotta block, shulker box like that. And uh, like we did before, we're going to go ahead and take our, uh, or we're going to place down a stone button this time on the side of these blocks here. We then want to go ahead and do the same thing again. So green, green shulker box, green terracotta block, same thing over here on this side. And like we did the previous row, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, trip wire hook on both sides. We then want to place down a green shulker box here again, both sides, green terracotta blo block like this, out to the sides here, leave that green terracotta block empty on the side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again, like this, trip wire hook, same thing over here, like this, trip wire hook like that. Um, once uh, that's finished off there, we can go ahead and take some stone buttons and we can place down rows of three of stone buttons, skip it a space. Uh, this is on the original one, but I'm just to add them because they add a little bit of detail to the inside here, which I think could be beneficial for us to have. Uh, but anyways, after that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on by placing down a green uh, terracotta block coming off that um, green shulker box, so like this, and then coming off the green uh, terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair like this with a wooden sign on the side of the stair. Same thing over here as well. And then a row three of stone buns across in between them. When that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down one and two blocks here on both sides. We're going to go ahead and repeat this two more times. So one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. And then we just want to place down one more row of three of stone buns going across like that. Now once that's done there, we're going to take dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down one and two, one and two. Same thing over here, one and two, one and two. And then we just want to take stone buttons, skip a space, one, skip a space, one, same thing over here, like that, going back. We also want to place down stone buttons on these green terracotta blocks right here. And that will kind of do it there for that detailing down the middle. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of this green shulker box here. Same thing on both sides here. We're going to go ahead and grab mossy cobblestone walls, place them down on top of those green stained clay blocks, and then come off the mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down green shulker boxes out to the sides there, like so. And once that's all done, that is going to wrap up layer number six. And with that, we can move on to our last final layers here for the for the uh, vehicle, which will be layers uh, basically seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. We're going to basically put the top of the little crew compartments here on some final details going toward the back and all that fun stuff so with that let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers they layers 7 through 13. all right guys moving on to our last final layers we have layers 7 through 13. so for layers 7 through 13 to go ahead and begin with we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood slabs and we're going to place down dark oak wood slabs on top of these two light gray stained glass full blocks and also on top of these two light gray stained glass panes once that's done there we're going to place down a green stained clay block over here this side dark oak wood stair to the side of it same thing over here on this side as well like so. We then want to go ahead and uh, actually my bad the green terracotta box is only going to be on the right side over here on the left side it's just going to be a dark oak wood stair. Once that's done over here on the left side we're going to do the same thing so two dark oak wood stairs back to back and over here on the right side it's going to be two dark oak wood stairs back to back as well. Now on top of this green uh, terracotta block here we're going to place down an orange stained glass full block with signs wrapped around it like so. And on the very top of it, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and place it down on top of it, like so, for kind of like a little like emergency or kind of like a hazard light, um, everything like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence post, and we're also going to go ahead and grab some iron bars. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post 
on top of this dark oak wood stair here on the cab to the left side. And going up from this fence post here, we're gonna place down one, uh, two, three, and four iron bars going up here for the radio antenna, like that. With that all done, we're going to continue to work our way back. So along the side here, we're going to place down one and two. Dark oak with stairs back. Same thing over here, one and two back like that. And we're then going to switch over to uh, mossy cobblestone walls on the inside here and place down two mossy cobblestone walls on the inside like so. When that's done there, we're going to place down a stone button on these two green stink blue blocks here on both sides. We're going to skip a space, place down a stone button back. Same thing over here like that. We're going to go ahead and then after we skip that space, we're going to place down a lever. Have the lever faced toward the rear of the vehicle on both sides here. We're going to grab ourselves an end rod crouch, place down an end rod coming off this lever. And then we're going to place down another lever that should be flicked forward and connecting up to the end rod like so. After that, we're going to place down a stone button here on both sides like that on that green stain clay block. Now once that's finished there, depending on what side you're working on, over here on the left side we're going to place down two dark oak wood stairs, so one dark oak wood stair on top of this one, followed by one back from it, and on the inside here two green stain clay blocks behind those blocks. Over here to the other side we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green terracotta block, and an upside down dark oak wood stair come off the back of that stair. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides of this, uh, this uh, dark oak wood stair, and we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden sign on both sides of it. So just like that and then a green carpet on top of that stair and once that is all complete that is going to pretty much wrap up the kind of uh, top design and pretty much the design overall for the basic kind of shape here for the M uh, or the Maz uh, 543. So with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and move into the different versions of the vehicle. I think to begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off with the missile kind of erected upward. So if you want to build the missile upward like this, we'll be going ahead and using this model right here to go ahead and build it. And if you guys are interested, I'll put a time skip uh, probably um, on screen or something like that at around this moment where you guys can go ahead and skip ahead and build the kind of in transit mode. So whatever version you want to build. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into building the kind of uh, deployed rocket version. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the upright position rocket part of the tutorial. So this is obviously the uh, version that's ready to fire off its missile, and we're going to go ahead and basically get into it. Now, uh, for us to go ahead and get started here, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak with a dark oak with upside down stair. Now, this stair right here, we want to go ahead and make sure that it kind of comes off this cobblestone wall over at an angle like this. So you have a dark oak wood upstone stair right here, and it's kind of coming off of this dark oak wood upstone stair right there. Um, you don't want it coming off the cobblestone wall, you want to like that. Once that's done, we can go and place down another dark oak wood upstone stair over here to this side, so you have two upside down stairs just like that. With that all finished off there, we're going to go and go back from this uh, dark oak wood upstone stair and place down a green stain clay block followed by a stone button on both ends. When that's done there, we're going to place down one and two mossy cobblestone walls back. Same thing over here, one and two mossy cobblestone walls back. Uh, with that done uh, right there, we're going to go ahead and go in between these uh, green uh, stain clay blocks. And we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall like that. Once that's done there, in between these cobble mossy cobblestone walls here, we're going to place down a black wall block. We're going to go ahead and go back from these mossy cobblestone walls here on both sides, place down a green stain clay block. On the two sides like this, we're going to place down stone buttons around the green stain clay blocks like so. And then we want to go ahead and place down a uh, wooden trap door that's going to come off of this uh, green stain clay block. So, see if we can place it down here like so. We're going to go ahead and then break this green stain clay block and place down a wooden trap door behind it. So you kind of create a little bit of a shape like that on the rear there. When that's finished off there, we're going to go ahead and then uh, grab ourselves some mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of these two dark oak stairs just like that. When that's finished there, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Place it down on this mossy cobblestone wall right here. It's back facing toward the rear of the vehicle, followed by another stone brick stair on the opposite side. Uh, with that done there, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall then on our uh, green stain clay blocks here. We're going to go and grab ourselves some signs and wrap our signs around the mossy cobblestone walls on the corner sides like so. With uh, that all finished off there, we're going to go in between the uh, in between the mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a wooden trap door, and then we want to place down a green stain clay block right here on top of this black wall block. 
With that done, uh, they're going ahead and continuing to work our way up. We're going to place down a green stained clay block on top of this one right here in the middle. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head. And we're going to place down a zombie head here on these two monster cobblestone walls at about a 45 degree angle like that on both sides. Uh, when that's just done there, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on all four sides of this green stained clay block here in the middle. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab these um, stone break stairs and we're actually going to swift, uh, switch the position of them. So we're actually going to have them facing like this with their backs toward this mossy cobblestone wall here. On top of these mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down another mossy cobblestone wall that goes up like this, followed by a stone brick stair coming off of them like that, connecting up to those walls. Uh, we then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick slabs. We're going to place down a nether brick slab coming off this zombie head right here. We're going to go ahead and drop this down, place down a row of two of nether brick top slabs up to a nether brick slab, and then up to a nether brick upside down stair. Now, this is right here is just meant to represent the cables that kind of run from this to the kind of launch platform back here so we have something that looks like down the side and we can go and take the same thing and copy it over to the air side like so or we can maybe switch it up a little bit um whatever you kind of choose or want to do so you can maybe have it drop down a little bit more than uh, we normally would and maybe have it come up like this and connect up something like that so it's a little bit different there you can choose to change it up on both sides depending on what you want to do. You can have it both the same or a little bit different. Um, but that's, again, kind of up to you guys. Anyways, with that all done there, we then want to go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair that's going to come off of each one of these mossy cobblestone walls. So we're going to need to go ahead and take this and do this all the way around here like this. And this is going to create the fins here for the missile. So all the way around here. Let's see if I can actually get this, the cord here to place. There we go. Just like that all the way around there. Now with that all done there, we're going to place down a, another green stink wave. Or sorry, my bad. It's actually going to be a black wool block now on top of each one of these mossy cobblestone walls. When that's done there, we're going to go in between the black wool blocks in the corners here and place down a cobblestone wall like this all the way around here. We're then going to grab ourselves a quartz block, place on a quartz block on top of these quartz upside down stairs all the way around like that. Uh, when that's done there, on top of this stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a green stained clay block. Same thing over here on this side and on both sides of the green stained clay blocks. We're going to place down a stone button. When that's all done there, we're going to go on top of this uh, narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this. We want to go ahead and go to uh, both sides of the stair and place down a wooden sign. So we're just going to go and do the same thing here on both sides, just like that. And same thing over here. When that's done there, we're going to go and take a stone brick stair. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this green, these green stain clay blocks here on both sides. And on top of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall that goes up. Once uh, that's all finished off there, we're going to place down a green stain clay block on top of these two right here. We're then going to place down a block of quartz on top of these quartz full blocks. All the way around here, like so. And then uh, we want to go and go to the middle space here. In the middle space, we're just going to go and place down a kind of three by three square here and we can even fill in the middle row right here of black wool since we can't see it from the bottom so we can just go and fill that all the way in like that um, so we have a nice uh, base here for the rocket now with that all done uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue on working our way up so we're gonna go and place down again a green stain clay block on top of these two right here course block in the middle we're gonna go and place down a stone brick stair come off this green stain clay block on both sides like this stone button on the side of this green stain clay block on both ends uh, with that done, we're going to take our quartz block. We're going to do a 3x3 three three, uh, quartz kind of uh, midsection right here. And then we want to go and then just grab ourselves a quartz stair and place down a quartz stair on top of these quartz full blocks here. All the way around like that. And uh, in this section right here, we can actually go and take this quartz full block and swap that out for a quartz stair as well. Uh, once that's all uh, wrapped up there, we can go and then take our quartz uh, full blocks and we're going to go and build up rows of three of quartz full blocks going up. So... Uh, for this, we're going to kind of build up the middle section of the rocket. So in total, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 3 by 3 squares going up. So we're going to do a total of 8 more. So we over here with our first one right here. We're going to go and build a second one. So we have 2. We're going to go, and go up again to 3. And then we have 4. five six seven eight 
and then our last row up on top here nine so uh, basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have uh, nine uh, basically blocks going up from this black hole block right there and you have that filled in completely three by three squares all the way up just like that now when that's all done there we're going to take cobblestone walls and we're going to go up from these court stairs on all sides of this missile and go ahead and just place down two cobblestone walls going up like this from the quartz stair when that's done there we're going to take our green uh, terracotta we're going to go up one two three four five and six blocks up like this and we're going to do the same thing right here one two three four five and six blocks up like so we then want to take some stone buttons here and we're going to go ahead and go and basically go to every other green stink wave block and we're going to place down two stone buttons like this going up along the side here so skipping this block up like this skip a space there two stone buttons skip a space there two stone buttons like that going up uh, we then want to go ahead and also place down a cobblestone wall on these two uh, stone brick stairs just like that with this uh, section complete here, we're going to have one quick adjustment. Now, from this point right here, we're going to go ahead and go from this green stink wave block. We're going to break this quartz full block and then break the two quartz full blocks on top of it like so. Same thing over here on this side as well, like this. Um, so it's going to be like that on both sides here. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair coming off this green stink wave block on both sides with the back of the stair facing toward the rear or kind of toward the back there. We're going to place down an upside down dark oak wood stair on the bottom of that uh, dark oak wood stair. We then want to grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, come off this dark oak wood stair like this. We're going to go ahead and take signs and also wrap signs around the mossy cobblestone wall, like so. And then uh, just on top of the uh, mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to go ahead and just place down a zombie head like that. And it's going to be the same thing over here on this side. So, mossy cobblestone wall behind the dark oak wood stair, a zombie head that's going to go on top of it. So like that and then we just want to go ahead and take some signs and wrap signs around it like so now with that all uh, wrapped up there we're going to go ahead and also take some stone buns and we're going to place down some stone buns on this um or my bad sorry it's going to be the next row up um green stink wave blocks like this going up and then on the back here we're just going to take some mossy cobblestone walls and we're actually going to place down one and two up in this space one and two up like that for that back section there now, once this, this is all finished here, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz full block going up the middle space here. We're going to go ahead and go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and thirteen quartz full blocks up like that for the missile. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the sides here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten quartz full blocks up same thing back here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten over here on this side as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and also on this back side as well so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten going up like that now with that all done we're going to take green uh terracotta and go up this space right here so green terracotta go it up like this same thing right here like so and once that's done there we're gonna take our mossy cobblestone walls and going up from these two already we're gonna go ahead and go up one two three and four more same thing over here one two three and four more we want to go ahead and take stone buttons like we've been doing we're gonna skip a space place down a stone button skip a space stone button skip a space stone button uh going up uh like this now once you have a total of four buttons on the side here so we're gonna go ahead and count we have our one two three four five six seven eight nine and our tenth green terracotta block up we're going to go ahead and place down or uh yeah right here our tenth one we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off of it so again just to double check here we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine green terracotta blocks actually my bad so we have nine going up from this one right here uh this ninth block right here we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the side here followed by two green stink clay blocks like that's this to the side same thing over here as well so just like that now uh, once that's all wrapped up there we're gonna go ahead and then uh, basically build this little kind of uh, piece that wraps around the um, rocket now but real quick before we do we do have to go ahead and add on some uh, cobblestone walls so uh, on this side here of the rocket we're going to take cobblestone walls and basically bring this all the way up until we get to the same level as these blocks on the sides here so it's gonna be a total of 10 cobblestone walls up like this 
in the corners here just to kind of create a little bit more shape to the rocket there. With that done there, we're going to go from this uh, green state terracotta block over to the cobblestone wall right next to it. We're going to place down two wooden trap doors that wrap around it like so, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this quartz block right here. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. With that done, we're going to go and grab ourselves a end rod and also a zombie head. We're going to place down an end rod coming off the bottom of that wooden trap door, followed by a zombie head. And same thing over here, a end rod and a zombie head like that. Now, once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, dark oak wood fence post, my bad. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of this green stankway blocks here on both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate, place down a dark oak wood fence gate, coming off these two cobblestone walls here on both sides. And in the middle space here in between, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Going up from the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down one more block up like this. We're going to take wooden trap doors, place down wooden trap doors around the sides here, and same thing over here as well. Uh, we're then going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this dark oak wood fence post. Same thing over here on this side as well. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a tripwire hook and place down a tripwire hook on the side of this green stink bay block to both sides. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one and two up, one and two, and one and two, and one and two cobblestone walls going up like that. We're going to go ahead and also take dark oak wood stairs, place down a dark oak wood stair like that on both sides like so. Uh, with that all finished off there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green uh, cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a green cobblestone wall in these corner pieces like this, followed by two wooden signs that wrap around the cobblestone wall, or the mossy cobblestone wall, sorry. And once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and take our wood, dark oak, or wooden trap doors, place down a wooden trap door coming off this middle cobblestone wall like that. We then want to place down a green stinkway block on top of this cobblestone wall, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides of that green stinkway block, and come off the green stinkway block like we did before, we're going to place down a wooden trap door. Uh, once that's done, around the other three sides of this quartz full block on the top here, we're going to go ahead and take zombie heads, or sorry, skeleton skulls, my bad, and wrap them around like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of two of cobblestone walls going up from this quartz full block to make the tip of the rocket here, and to finish it off, we're going to place down an end rod on top. Once that's all finished off there, we're going to go ahead and place down a total of one and two and three end rods going up from the mossy cobblestone wall on the side here. We're going to place down a placeholder block on top of the third one, a zombie head that is going to go on top of this block like so. We're going to then break this block and then place down a fourth end rod underneath that zombie head so you get something that looks like that. And same thing over here, one, two, and three. A placeholder block, a zombie head, and then an end rod underneath it like so. And then in between the zombie heads, we're just going to place down an end rod like so. And once you have that complete, that is going to do it for the kind of upright position for the uh, Scud missile. And uh, that right there will pretty much wrap that up. If you're going to, go, if you're interested in also building a version of the truck with the missile downward, uh, we will be going ahead and moving on to that next. But for those of you that just want the missile facing upwards, you guys are pretty much good to go and you have your... Uh, truck all designed and pretty much good to go. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next portion of the tutorial Which will be covering how to build the missile in the in-transit position on uh, the better version of the truck We can see a little behind the upright position one. All right guys, so going ahead and moving into basically uh, part two of the tutorial really is going ahead and building the in-transit version now, uh, basically what this will be doing is basically taking the standard design truck as we have built here, and we're going to be going ahead and building the missile, obviously laying down like that for the truck, looking like it's in motion, in transit, moving to its uh, you know, launch position or uh, whatever it may be doing. Um, anyways, for us to go ahead and uh, get started here, the best way for us to go ahead and start this is by going ahead and going to the back here. Now for the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head coming off of those two uh, dark oak wood stairs. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick stair and place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off these two anvils here on both sides. Now with that done, we're going to move up and go ahead and go to our next row up. We're going to place down another brick upside down stair on top of those two uh, on top of those two stone brick stairs like so. Coming off these uh, narrow brick stairs going toward the back, we're going to place down a green uh, terracotta block like this on the sides here. Of these green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab on both sides, and then we're going to place down a narrow brick top slab coming off these terracotta blocks there on both sides, like that. 
When that's done here in the middle space, we're going to go and place down a mossy cobblestone wall here, come off these green terracotta blocks next to these narrow brick ups and downstairs. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone button, coming off the middle, green stinkway block, fall by one and two, iron bars going back, and same thing over here, one and two iron bars going back. When that's all finished there, we're going to go up to our next row up. We're going to place down a dark oak with stair on top of those narrow brick stairs here on both sides. And on the sides of the stairs here, we're going to place down a wooden sign. Same thing over here as well like that. Coming off the uh, dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick top slab here on both sides. And we're going to follow it up by placing down a dark oak wood slab. On the side of the dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down a sign. And same thing over here on this side as well. Dark oak wood slab and a wooden sign on the side there. Uh, coming off the dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab. Coming off of it like so toward the back here. We then want to grab ourselves mossy cobblestone walls. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of three across in between those dark oak wood stairs. When that's done there, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone back wall back on both sides here. Uh, in between these dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of mossy cobblestone walls across. We then want to go and place down another mossy cobblestone wall coming off of both sides of those mossy cobblestone walls going back and then a dark oak wood upside down stair here on the end of these two uh, on the, the end of those two mossy cobblestone walls just like this and then a um, end rod right there in between the dark oak wood stairs like so. Uh, with that done there uh, we can go ahead and move on to our next row up. So for our next row up we're going to place down a stone brick slab that's going to go on top of this uh, stone or this dark oak wood stair uh, just like that um, when that's all finished off there we're going to place down a um, green stinkway block that's going to come off this stone brick slab like this on both sides like that and in between or in the middle of the green stinkway block we're going to place down a quartz block like this fall by one and two back uh, we then also want to go and take our quartz block and place out one more going toward the front there when that's done there we're going to go and grab ourselves a stone brick stair place down a stone brick stair on these two mossy cobblestone walls here on both sides there and then we just want to go ahead and uh, place down a green stain clay block on top of these dark oak wood stairs on the back here. In between those green stain clay blocks we're just going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Uh, once that's all finished off there one thing we're going to go ahead and add on which I think was supposed to be in the original build but for some reason didn't transfer over is uh, or actually it might just be for this version actually we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair that's going to go right here on top of this section and to the side of it we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and we're going to place down a item frame on the side of this dark oak wood stair and a green terracotta block in it same thing over here as well so just like so and that will kind of uh, wrap that section up like so and i think over here for this one it does require it as well which we'll, <laughs> we'll have up off that further and there's an addition for that but anyways you should have something that looks just like this um, anyways, going ahead and continuing from this, we're going to go ahead and take our green stain clay blocks. We're going to go ahead and go off of this one, place down one, two, three, and four, and uh, five, six blocks going forward. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, and six green terracotta blocks going forward. And we're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on this first green stain clay block after the mossy cobblestone walls. Same thing over here as well. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood slabs, place down one, two. And then when we get to this section here, we're going to have to break this um, stone button here, place down a third and a fourth um, dark oak wood top slab going forward. Same thing over here as well, just like that. Uh, once that's all complete there, uh, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer up. So moving up to our next section, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going ahead and grabbing ourselves some uh, black wool here. And for this, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of black wool on these middle two quartz full blocks. Also, one thing I want to throw in here is we do want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, quartz slabs and we're going to go ahead and place down two quartz tops, or sorry, three quartz top slabs come off this quartz full block going toward the front there um, for part of the fin of the rocket. So go ahead and throw that on. I do apologize for missing that. Anyways, uh, once that's all cleared off there, we're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off this black wool block toward the rear here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to the sides. We're going to place down a uh, stone brick top slab on both sides of this black wool block right here and then an iron trap door coming off of the stone brick top side like that to both sides uh, once that's all finished off there we're going to continue to work our way back we're going to go ahead and go to the back here place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of those two green stain clay blocks in between the mossy cobblestone walls we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab and coming off those mossy cobblestone walls we're going to place down a uh, stone brick stair on both sides like that once that's done there we're going to grab ourselves some wooden trap doors 
We're going to place down a wooden trap door that's going to come off of this mossy cobblestone wall and have it opened up. Or, uh, yeah, opened up like that. Uh, when that's done there, coming off this black wool block, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves quartz blocks. Place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, uh, 17, 18, and we're going to go ahead and go 19 quartz full blocks forward, just like that. And with that all uh, done there, we can go and then switch to some quartz top slabs. We're going to place down one and two quartz top slabs forward, and then we just want to place down a um, iron trap door like this, followed by a dark oak with top slab here on the ends. Now with that all done, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides now, go to this iron trap door, we're going to place down one and two dark oak with top slabs on the side here, same thing over here as well. Going back from the dark oak with top sides, we're going to place down a dark oak with up sound stair to both sides. Going back from the dark oak with up sound stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Green stain clay blocks back like that. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 green stink clay blocks back. Once that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and switch to some quartz upside down stairs and go ahead and between the stone brick top slab and these green stink clay blocks, we're going to place down four quartz upside down stairs. Same thing over here, four quartz upside down stairs. Um, when that's all done there, we're going to go to the sides. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, come off this quartz stair here, followed by a dark oak wood top slab forward. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. Uh, with that all wrapped up, we're going to go ahead and uh, move up to the front of the, or my bad, not the front real quick, we still have to do a little bit of detailing here. So for this, very simply, we're going to place down stone buttons kind of alternating on the side here of the uh, green stained clay. And we're just going to keep doing this forward here until we get to this point here. Now after this stone button right here, we're going to place down a dark oak with up sound stair. And then uh, we can go ahead and continue on by placing down a tripwire hook coming off this green stained clay block. And we're just going to go and do the same thing over here on this side. So tripwire hook, skip a space, dark oak with up sound stair, stone button, and continue our alternating pattern here of stone buttons along the side, just as we did on the other side there. And with that all finished off, the last thing for us to do is to go ahead and go to the front up here. We're going to go and take our end rods, place down one, two, three, and four forward. We then want to go and place down a zombie head, which is going to go on top of that wooden trap door there. Uh, coming off the zombie head to the side, we're going to place down a end rod, zombie head like this on this side, and one, sorry my bad, see, uh, we're going to do one, two, three, and four, end rods going forward just like we did um, on the other side there. And once you have that all complete, that is going to uh, wrap up uh, the uh, missile here for the bottom portion, and we're going to go ahead and move on to our next row up. So for our next row up, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one right here on both sides of the back. We then want to go and take some signs, and we're going to go and take signs and wrap them around this mossy cobblestone wall. Like that. Same thing over here as well. When that's all done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood up down stair in between these mossy cobblestone walls. Like so. And then coming off the dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a green stink bait block. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and continue on working our way back by placing down a narrow green stink bait block. And to both sides of this green stained clay block, we're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides like this. We then want to grab ourselves a wooden trap door and coming off those mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down wooden trap doors like that on both sides. Uh, with that wrapped up, we're going to go ahead and take our black wool. We're going to place down one and two black wool blocks coming off those mossy cobblestone walls. Same thing over here. And we could fill in the middle as well with black wool, so we just have two rows of three across. Uh, on the sides here, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz blocks. We're going to place down... Um, a quartz block coming off of this of these two black wool blocks and then we're going to place down one more that goes back and we're going to do the same thing over here like so we then want to place down one more quartz full block going forward and then to the sides here we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one and two uh, cobble cobblestone walls going forward same thing over here one and two cobblestone walls uh, or actually my bad it's going to be a uh, row of three cobblestone walls so my bad there um, once that's all finished off there, no bad, my bad, it's going to be a row too, so my, my apologies on that. Uh, anyways, when that's all wrapped up there, we're going to go and continue on by taking our quartz full blocks. We're going to place down a row of three quartz full blocks, making this row of five, two rows of three in between these cobblestone walls. We then want to place down an additional two more rows of three. 
When we get to this section here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a third row of three of quartz full blocks across. We then wanna go ahead and go to the side here. We're gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall on these two dark oak with top slabs. We're gonna to place down a sign on the side of it, also on this side. And then we wanna place down a zombie head on the side of the um, wall facing forward. And we're gonna do the same thing over here as well, like that. With that all wrapped up there, we're gonna go ahead and take our quartz full blocks and place down a fourth row of three, a fifth, a sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen uh, rows going across here. So in total, from this section here, we should have a total of. 18 rows of three of quartz full blocks going all the way forward and should end on the screen stink paper block up here in the front now out to the sides here we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off this mossy cobblestone wall and then two mossy cobblestone walls back and same thing over here on this side so mossy cobblestone wall a dark oak wood fence gate and two mossy cobblestone walls going back with that all wrapped up, go into the middle here. We're going to place down one, two, and three quartz full blocks back. We're going to go and go to the sides here, grab ourselves cobblestone walls, place down one and two cobblestone walls, one and two over here on this side as well. And then we just want to place down a skeleton school on both sides of this quartz full block. When that's done there, we're going to go and place down a total of one and two cobblestone walls going forward, followed by a uh, wither skeleton school come off the very front here, the tip like this, and then a sign here on both sides of this cobblestone wall like that. Uh, once that's all wrapped up there and finished off, that'll do it for that layer and we can go ahead and move on to our next one up. So for our next uh, layer up, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on top of these two mossy cobblestone walls. Um, so just like this, like so. In between the stairs, we're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood top slab. And then we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Coming off the quartz full block like that. When that's done there, on the back of the dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a wooden sign. Same thing over here as well. Uh, we then want to grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall, place down a mossy cobblestone wall coming off these two dark oak wood upstairs, stairs, followed by a sign on the side of those mossy cobblestone walls. And also coming off of them, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head as well. On top of this green stankway block here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a wooden trap door that comes off of it, opened up like that. We then want to take our black wool, we're going to place down a row of two of black wool down the middle here we're gonna go ahead and go to the sides grab ourselves some stone brick slabs place down a stone brick slab like this on both sides and then a iron trap door on the other sides there when that's done there we're gonna go ahead and take our quartz full blocks we're gonna go down the middle for a long row of quartz full blocks we're gonna go ahead and place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen quartz full blocks forward we then want to go ahead and take our quartz slabs. We're going to place down a row of one and two quartz slabs, followed by two iron trap doors going forward, like so. But that's when that's done there, we're going to take our quartz stairs, and after this quartz slab here, or this stone brick slab, we're going to place down a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen quartz stairs going forward, followed by a iron trap door on or sorry, my bad, it's going to be 17 quartz stairs forward, so two less and then two quartz slabs and then an iron trap door. Same thing over here on this side as well. So just like this down the entire side of the rocket. And all the way back here like that. Now once that's uh, done there, we're going to go ahead and add some uh, detail around this side here. So come off this quartz slab here, we're going to place down a wooden trap door, place it upward like this. Same thing right here on this first Quartz stair up in the front of the missile same thing like that on the other side and then we want to go and just grab ourselves a end rod and also a zombie head so we'll grab both of those we're going to place down an end rod come off this second iron trap or wooden trap door here and then a zombie head like that come off the third uh, quartz stair from front so like that on both sides Moving on to our next layer up, we're going to place down a wooden trap door on top of these two dark oak wood upside down stairs. We then want to grab ourselves quartz full blocks. We're going to place down a quartz full block on top of this mossy cobblestone wall, followed by one quartz full block forward, a uh, second one, or sorry, a third one, and then a fourth one like this. We then want to place down two quartz slabs forward like that. Going all the way to the front of the missile, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down dark oak wood slabs on the last three quartz full blocks, so three dark oak wood slabs like this followed by a zombie head that comes off the 
slab there in the center going forward. We're then going to place a wooden trap door on top of these slabs here to both sides and also on top of these two quartz stairs. Once that's done going back from this wooden trap door, I'm going to place down one more back like that. We then want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off this uh, middle dark oak wood slab here to both sides just like that. And that guy's right there. We'll go ahead and complete the tutorial for the 9P117M on the Maz 543 vehicle chassis. Overall, really cool build and, you know, something very unique. We don't do too many of these types of tutorials, so hope you guys can all enjoy it and, uh, you know, find some use for it and all that fun stuff. Um, other than that, that's going to pretty much wrap up this build. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this tutorial possible. And feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is down in the description. If you guys do decide to end up using this build, I do ask that you guys can be proper credit for it. This means thank you from the side of the build to to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for the build, you're free to use your favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, have fun with the build and uh, hopefully you guys can all find some really cool and fun uses for it. Uh, but just make sure I get credit for the build. That's all I ask for. Um, and with that, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.